So using a 360 or a 180 degree panoramic camera, you in the BBMS operator client, you grab the camera, drag it over to the cameo that you'd like to see it in, and it shows you um, the image as it's coming from the camera in a warped type configuration. The camera that I grab currently is a 180 degree camera. It's set on a stand at about head high, about six feet off the ground. And what you see is a complete, complete image left to right. If I wanna zoom in or take a image out of that area and put it into one of the other cameos, I can hold the control button down on the keyboard, use the mouse, left click, and drag that image out. I can have multiple pieces of the image dragged out onto the desktop simultaneously. And when I do that, it allows me in any one of these cameos to electronically move around within the image. This is, again, this is a 180 camera. And I can zoom in, zoom out, go back. And you'll notice that the difference in the images on the original image that I dragged out that I had said was in the warped configuration, the lines do not appear to be straight. So lines in the ceiling, lines, straight lines in the, uh, the walls or the floor, those aren't straight. But if you look at the de-warped images, which is the click the control button on the keyboard and then drag the, the area out that you specifically want onto one of the other cameos, you'll notice that the lines are all straight and, and connected correctly. If you want to disconnect, you can just simply click on the ones that you don't want and it does allow you to keep those specific images that you do want up on the screen. And again, you can zoom in, zoom out, move around within the, within the field of view um, and go from there. So the next thing I'll do is I'll show you a 360 panoramic camera, which is a little different in terms of how it's viewed. And there's a definitive difference in how the um, the warped image appears. So remember, this is a camera that's providing a picture um, that is simply a, a round image. And if you look at this, straight lines appear to be very distorted. But again, I can simply grab specific sections, hold the control button down, drag those cameo, those images out into the various cameos. And it allows me to have multiple streams connected to that panoramic camera. And again, I can move around within those images, up, down, zoom in, zoom out. Again, I can move around within those images. I can get rid of that warped image and I can grab an image and move it to a larger cameo. And then I can move around within the, within the space of that camera. And again, you'll notice that the, the image appeared to be very distorted or um, the, the lines weren't straight, but in this de-warped image, the lines are very straight and it allows us to get a much, a much better image um, in terms of how, how we view it. So um, that's how you would do that. And then again, the same thing goes in playback. So if I move to the playback screen, I can take the 180 camera and click on it out of the tree, drag it over. You'll notice it comes out. It gives me time on the timeline that I can go into. And I can, um, again, click in the area that I want, go back into replay, and I am now playing back the same as I did in live view. And I can look at it on the timeline. Anywhere on that timeline, you can play that image back. So if I wanted to see something specific, same way that I would before. So I can look at multiple places in the, in the 180 image simultaneously during playback, the same as I could in live. I just simply grab that uh, area that I want with, uh, by placing the mouse cursor over that area, hold the control button down on the keyboard, and I drag it out. I'm gonna go back to the 360 camera. Again, you'll notice that the 360 camera gives a little bit more of a distorted image as it appears coming directly out of the camera. Uh, and again, I can grab specific areas out of the image uh, that I would want, hold the control button down on the keyboard, drag those areas out of, the, out of the view, and I can see those specific areas 
in the, in the image. And again, I can still pan around and do whatever I want within the playback area, just like I did uh, when I was viewing it live. So uh, I do have that flexibility, zoom in, zoom out, so on and so forth within that image. Um, so playback configuration ex is exactly the same as it would be in live, where I start with the original image uh, from the tree and then I pull off what I want specifically out of the image um, based on what the camera is doing. And remember, uh, these cameras record everything that is in the field of view simultaneously, so it doesn't really matter what you're looking at, the camera is recording everything. So if in the live view you're looking at these three panes, um, this gives you the ability to uh, kind of have eyes in the back of your head uh, or eyes in the side of your head. It's always viewing everything all the time. It doesn't care what you're looking at. So hope that uh, explains the the way a 360 and a 180 panoramic camera uh, work within the BVMS uh, workstation client.